Interest has been growing around lithium batteries and whether they pose enough of a danger for us to actively move away from using them. And what alternatives are there to these commonly used batteries? Ian Zin has this report. The batteries that we commonly use at home are single-use, non-rechargeable batteries. These are known as primary batteries. There are various types of batteries, from alkaline batteries to mercury batteries and even sodium batteries. But because of their long life, lithium batteries are the most common type of primary battery, recently replacing alkaline cylindrical batteries. The energy-efficient primary lithium batteries are mostly used in smart grid meters, communications equipment and small home appliances like cameras. The problem is the vulnerability of lithium if it is exposed to moisture. Even a single drop of water is enough for lithium to catch fire. When lithium touches water, not only does it cause a sudden exothermic reaction, but it also heats the surrounding area and generates hydrogen gas. That generated hydrogen gas doubles the risk of explosion. But despite such risks, lithium is still the main material used in batteries because of its high energy density. With the same volume and mass, lithium batteries contain more energy and they are lighter in weight, increasing their portability. When made into a primary battery, the lithium batteries are light and have the advantage of lasting longer than other batteries. When made into a secondary battery, lithium batteries can be charged at high speed without compromising battery capacity. The reason we use lithium batteries is because they have relatively high voltage compared to other batteries while providing high energy capacity. For instance, while existing batteries can deliver 1.5 volts, lithium batteries provide a higher voltage of about 3.7 volts, which is why more lithium batteries are used. But scientists around the world, including those in Korea, are working to develop an alternative to these lithium batteries. So far, alternatives include sodium ion batteries, zinc air batteries, and vanadium redox batteries, which are all secondary batteries. But due to their energy density and price, experts say that these are all far from being the battery of choice in the industrial field. Ian Jin, Arirang News.